Hey everyone, GoBots here, back today with a brand new episode for MLB The Show 19 franchise with the Texas Rangers. We are continuing on with Season 2 here in the postseason period. Right now, the Rangers are leading Cleveland 2-0 in the American League Division Series. With one more win, the Rangers would clinch the series and head on to the ALCS for the third time in their club history. So we're looking for a big win here today. Hopefully we can get that done. If you like today's video, our like goal today is 50 likes on the video. So leave a thumbs up, comment down below, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And feel free to join in here at GoBotch Gaming. Hit that subscribe button as we are reaching closer and closer to our new goal of 5,000 subscribers. So we have Keichel on the mound today for the Rangers. We're going to actually jump in. And my plan today isn't really... I know I said I was going to play the whole game last time, but my plan today, honestly, is to uh, just, I just want to try to get this win here today, if we can. If we don't, that's fine. We have two other games to get it done, but I'd like if we get this one here today to go move on into the ALCS and maybe get a couple games done there as well. But we will uh, do what we did last episode. We're actually going to play through a couple of the innings. And just uh, play out a little bit of this. But the Rangers have brought it in the first two games. We've, we've had some clutch offense hitting. Uh, you see Gallo, who struggled at times this season for us. He's come on in this postseason play with a 556 batting average. He's really just been playing out of his mind well for the Ranger ball club so far. But we're here at home. The rain is coming down in true Texas fashion. We're getting some uh, some, some some nice rainstorms here in Arlington. Hopefully that will settle down and we'll turn into a nice evening here from Globe Life Park. But uh, the Rangers can look for a three-game sweep. We are coming in today to this game. Of course, we're the underdogs. I mean, we were the we are the team with the lesser record uh, with just 94 wins again. We won our division, but we had the worst record in all of. The division leaders, uh, which is absolutely just crazy to me. But there you see the first two games. The Rangers won the game one, three nothing with Bumgarner getting the win. Kluber with a loss. Game two, five three. Rangers had to come behind from behind victory as Bush gets the win and Clipper got the loss. So Carrasco on the mound today for Cleveland, looking to right this ship. And Keuchel for the Rangers, looking to send this off with a victory and a sweep here at home at Globe Life. So let's go ahead and get this game started here from Arlington as Roger Jones will step to the plate to begin the day. All right, so first pitch here, and it is over the plate to seam fastball at 1.05 p.m. here. We're playing an afternoon game with the rain pouring down in Arlington. And there's a ground ball. Elvis on a play, got it, and there he is across the diamond. One away to Abreu. Rangers start off on a two-pitch out there. And bring up Gerald Hoff, the left fielder for Cleveland. Heichel set on the pitch. And just misses outside at 88 miles per hour, a 1-0 count. To Jones. Or Hoff, whatever his name is. Watches that pitch inside. 1-1 one, one count. We're going to come inside on him now this time. And he couldn't give. They say he went. It's a 1-2 count. We're going to go straight fire four seam. We have not thrown the four seam yet. It's been all two seam action. And it's in there. Strike three. Down goes Hoff. Two away now for the Rangers. Here we go, baby. Now bring up Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 8 in this American League Divisional Series. Not been playing his best games. He's not. And... Bro. Why'd you stop running? That is a no-no for any pitcher in the league. He stopped running to the bag. Because I guess he thought I had that taken care of. And we're just going to make sure this dude's getting back over here. That ticks me off, man. That should have been out number three out of this inning. But instead, he, he just watched. Taking a stolen base and safe at second. Ramirez, who we, we, we put, were giving him some dividends. We were paying attention to him out there, but now he went. Fouls off that pitch right there. Stays alive at a 1-2 count. We're going to go slider inside here and try to get him rung up. And hard hit ball gets through. Rangers are sending the man home. Play at the plate, and we got him. What a play at the plate. Ramirez barely thrown out there. As there's a string together number of hits right there, but the Rangers survived the inning. Oh, boy. That almost turned into a mess. 
if I've ever seen one right there. So the Rangers lineup will come to the plate. We'll look to get things going. Uh, Carrasco, the pitcher, and here comes Shinsu Chu, 2 of 11 so far in this divisional series. All right, so Chu at the plate to get the first bottom of the first started for the Ranger offense. Again, that crazy play at the plate there. We prevail in that first little uh, experience. And the first pitch misses outside. It's a 1 0 count to begin the at bat for Chu. 1 0 count. And a changeup on the outside, swung on and missed by Chu. Evens things up at one apiece. And a four seam on the outside. He's staying away from Chu right now. I guess he got a good scouting report and he knows he needs to stay away from Chu as much as possible. Now a one two count, Chu behind. And waiting on the slider there. Hung over the plate, but fouled off. One two once more. Fifth pitch of the at-bat coming. And wow, had no business probably swinging at that. That slider ran way in, but we barely foul tipped it off at 17 mile per hour. Your Lord. Another one, two, sixth pitch. And the slider misses off the plate outside. Two, two count now to Chew. Good patience shown there at the plate. Making this man work for this first out. Make him work. And he hits that one. Right fielder there, though. On a rope, got it. So it took seven pitches. He battled there at the plate. He got a good pitch to hit, and he drove it well, but right to the right fielder. Down goes Chu and bring up Elvis Andrews. Four for nine with an RBI in this series. Played well so far. And he had a pretty good regular season as well. And the four seam is on. Outside part of the plate, got the corner. 0-1. And early there on the off speed, was that a slider? It was. It was a slider over the bottom middle of the plate. Fouled it off, though. Nothing going for the Rangers there, 0-2. And early once again on another off-speed pitch. Another slider just about the same location. Fouled off, staying alive at 0-2 is Elvis Andrews. Doing her best. And that one kind of jammed us up there. The first baseman makes the play over the top. Pop out at first. Two away for the Ranger offense. And there is the postseason bracket. The only team that has moved on right now is San Diego, defeating the Cubbies in a 3-1 series victory. Boston's leading their series 2-1, and the Mets and Phillies are tied up at two apiece. Very interesting stuff going on there. Let's look now here for Nomar Mazzara. Let's see what Maz can get done here. The big chill, two out for the Rangers. And a slider beaten into the dirt. I'm getting, seeing a very good assortment here of slider, um, he's also brought a couple a couple heaters, but mostly sliders we're seeing here from him. There's another forcing on the outside, and we hit it hard, but right to the first baseman. So the Rangers, not much going for them here in the first inning. We're going to go ahead now and simulate, if we can. I guess not. We have to talk to the sideline reporter that's not prepared for the, the, the weather. All right. So let's go quick manage and see how things go here now. So one, two, three, almost for the Rangers. Let's see if the Ranger middle of the order can get anything going. Nothing going. Asperardi coming through for the Rangers. He's the first runner to come in there from a single from Herrera. Two on, one out for the Rangers. Elvis walks. Nomar will come to the plate with the bases juiced. And he doubles in them all. Rangers now up 4 nothing. Keiko has got some room to work with now. Two on, no one out. Oh, boy. And a double play. He got out of it with some clutch defense right there. And a two-run blast from Nomar Mazar. He is having a heck of a game here today. Pulling in four or five RBIs now, excuse me. And the Ranger offense is not done just yet. Keuchel gives up the first run of the game for the Cleveland with a home run from Chris Davis, but that's it. A run comes in there off the double from, no, uh, from Shin Shinsu Chu. And Sean Kelly now out of the pen for the Rangers will look to get something done. 
here in the eighth inning. So the Rangers looking like we're going to move on with a sweep here. As we'll head to the ninth inning, let's jump in here with Sean Kelly. Francisco Lindor at the plate for Cleveland. They're going to have to have a massive inning to keep their season alive. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, and Joey missed it. Well, they may get some. There's a two out, or a one out, or no out, lead off devil. He ain't my words right right now, Lindor. I'm going to bring up Carlos Santana to the plate for the Indians. He hammers that. High, deep, gone. Two run blast. Sean Kelly. First two batters he sees, it's a double home run. Oh, crap. We don't need this to start happening. He has no confidence in his pitches. He has no pitching meter, even. Okay, we're going to get uh, Craig, uh, yeah, get him ready to go here. Get, get Kimball ready just in case because he has no pitching meter. I mean, y'all see that. He has no confidence whatsoever. None. There's a grounder to Odor. Odor retires him. One away. All right. That's one down. We need to get some more. And fouls it off. 0-1 count. He's wanting to see that slider away, huh? And beats it into the dirt. Third baseman. Wisdom's got it all day to throw. Across the diamond to Abreu. Two away for the Rangers. One more out, and the Rangers will advance to the American League Championship Series with the winner of Boston and New York. Unfortunately, we will not be the home team in that situation because we have the lesser record compared to, I think, both teams. Well, I, I, I think it should be to said to say, though, even if, if the wild card team wins, we should have home field advantage because we won the division. But that's it. It's up. And in the glove of Joey Gallo and the Rangers... With the offensive outpour today and some really good pitching overall from Dallas Keuchel, they win the American League Divisional Series here against the Cleveland Indians, and they will advance on to face the winner of the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox in the American League Championship Series here in year two for the Ranger franchise on the channel. We got the job done behind some good pitching and some very good bats. Nomar Mazzara, clearly player of the game with his home run and five RBIs on his two hits. And the Rangers will move on further into the postseason and will keep their World Series dreams alive here in year two. Keuchel, seven strong, five hits, six strikeouts, one earned run, and three walks. And Carrasco with a loss as the Rangers prove Worthy of a sweep there. Unbelievable stuff. We win, and we will be taking on either the Yankees or the Red Sox. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, who that will be. And it's the Boston Red Sox, ladies and gentlemen. So looking at the postseason bracket there, the Red Sox go all the way. Welcome to the, show, the, the Yankees fans. took them the distance to five games, and the Red Sox got the job done. The Mets outlasted Philly, and they are now having a one nothing lead over San Diego Padres. So it's going to be an interesting thing there. I, I, I really didn't expect the Mets or San Diego to be teams that we're looking at this point in the season facing. But let's go ahead and jump in today to this ALCS. Let's get through these first two games of the series and see if we can jump out with another one or two game or a two game lead, if at all possible. So, Rangers coming out here today at Fenway Park, looking to get the job done. Behind the uh, why 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 do we have Shelby Miller starting today? That makes no sense. No, no. No, uh, I don't want Miller starting. It should be Garrett Cole, star, or not Cole, uh, Bumgarner starting. Yeah, we should have our ace on the mound because he's had time off, so we should be okay. All right, so we should be good now. We're going to start back with our aces. Again, look at the Red Sox this year. They were the number one team in the American League, 104 and 58 record, um, just playing out of their mind. And you see the Rangers right now, we've seen some guys really step up for us offensively. Again, Johnny Asperardi, our Rule 5 catcher we got, he's come on here in the postseason, as has our captain, our main dude that we expect to be hitting blast out there, Joey Gallo. He's been playing a good postseason as well. But here we are in the ALCS against the Boston Red Sox, a historic team here at Fenway Park. In game one in year two of our franchise, and I am so excited to get this series going, ladies and gentlemen. Our, our, our new managers brought this team into 
this this situation we found ourselves in with some great accusations throughout this offseason and the trade period we've had. And let's get this game going here with Shin Su Chu going up today against Price on the mound. Let's see what the Rangers can get done. And the first pitch we see Shin Su Chu. It's high, it's deep, and it will wrap around the pole fair. It's a solo home run for Chu and the Rangers will already take the one nothing lead. First pitch, green light Chu, just like real life. He's a dangerous weapon in the leadoff position. He has a lot of leadoff home runs in his career. He comes through with one more for the Rangers there as we take the one nothing lead here from Fenway against the Red Sox. Chu got around on that thing, and there's no doubt about it as long as it stayed fair. And now they'll bring up Elvis Andrews to the plate. one nothing Texas. Let's go. And another one. Man, he's leaving these over the plate. They're making mistakes for himself. And Elvis is going to round and go to second and try to get in for a double. And he was in. So the Ranger offense here torching the, 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 the pitching arm right now of David Price, who has not brought his A game. And I'll bring up the hot swinging hitter, Nomar Mazzara, who had a heck of a game three in the ALDS against the Cleveland Indians. And he gets around on that one. We'll move over the runner at least. So it's been three pitches, three connected balls, one run across, and a man at third and one away. And now I'll now bring up the slugger, Joey Gallo. This postseason batting in the 500s, two home runs and three RBIs with an opportunity here to bring in another Ranger run and make a crooked number here in the first. And the changeup misses just outside. Good patience there from Joey to not go chase that ball away. 1-0. And he'll get through that, and that's going to get through the gap. And it's an RBI single for Joey Gallo. Rangers ahead here in the first. 2-0. Two nothing. Two nothing go, baby. Bringing in the clutch hitting, and now bring up Jose Abreu. Struggling in this postseason. Uh, we brought him in to be that clutch first baseman for us. And so far this postseason, he hasn't brought it. But fortunate for us, we haven't needed it. But there will be, ooh, there will be a time he has to step up. We start to get those hits coming across because that's why we brought him around. That's why we acquired him in a trade. And God, now down 0-2. Two straight pitches inside. 0-2 count on Abreu. I expect to see something probably high here. High cutter? No? And we barely, wow, good swing there, and it gets down, protecting on the outside part of the plate, trying not to strike out, slaps it fair. And in front of the right fielder, it's a one-out single from Abreu on an 0-2 count, making good contact. Wow, just stayed with it, stayed relaxed there with his with his follow-through on there, and I'll bring up Odor with one away and runners at first and second. Ooh, wow. Odor got caught out in front there on the changeup, wanting to drive that into the bleachers. Instead came up empty with a strike. And another changeup. That one fouled off. 0-2 count to Odor. Now the 0-2 from Price. And that shoveled me off. That's going to get off. And third baseman's got it. Two away. And now bring up Patrick Wisdom. This postseason 167 average and an RBI. Not much else going for him. Now two away and two on. First pitch will miss inside and low. It's a 1 0 count to Wisdom. Again, this is one of those key positions we're still keeping an eye on at third base that uh, we really need to solidify that going forward. We have youth that are coming up that maybe could potentially be our next big accusations there. Third, and that's going to drop down, and nobody's going after it. He was running out of the way, and what a crazy play that is. Wisdom's going to go all the way around the third, and the Rangers get two more runs in, leading this game now 4 0, ladies and gentlemen. A crazy play out there in short right field. Turns into a massive play for the Rangers. And a huge, cru crucial mistake here early for Boston. Unbelievable. And Johnny Asperardi again. Oh, wow. Great cutter right there. Great cutter there. 0 oh, 1 count to Johnny, who's been playing well for us this off uh, postseason so far. 
And two seam swung on, missed. 0 2 count to Johnny. Wisdom standing there at third, two away. And we hit that one hard and down, and it falls. It's a five run first inning for the Ranger offense. Y'all, I'm, I'm feeling confident, man. I mean, we normally, we sometimes we hit the ball well, but we are hitting the ball well today. Very well today. We are seeing these pitches. We're getting out overpriced very easily. And first pitch from Herrera, he sees, fouls it off. It's a two-seam low. Hmm. A one count here for Herrera. And he fouls off another two-seam. Now down 0-2 in the at-bat. Will we see an off-speed pitch here to get us hanging? And wow, we, we did it. We golfed that thing, but it's going to the center fielder, and that will retire the side. The Rangers, though, strike for five runs here in game one, the first half of the inning on six hits. And now bring up the Ranger pitching. And we are led today by... Bumgarner leading the way for the Rangers. First pitch of the game. There we go. One away. Just like that. Now, now bring up Dustin Pedroia. With a low cutter here. And fouled off. Out of play. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. And cut her over the middle of the plate, strike two, looking. I can't see the pitches, man. My head's in the way of the, the, the batter, my, my catcher. And swung and fouled off right there, the two-seam fastball. We go back with that two-seam this time away a little bit. Odor to Abreu, two away. And I'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Pitch to Martinez, and it's hit hard. In the gap over here, and Herrera comes all the way over to left field to make that play. One, two, three inning for the Ranger defense. And we'll now be able to go ahead and uh, super sim a little bit here since we have such a nice lead. And it's a triple there from Elvis, and Weber is already taking over this game for Boston. Abreu singles, there's a fielder's choice, double play inning over. Not a lot going on for either team now. Two on, one out. Oh, crap. Big inning there for Boston. They're able to cut this down to a two-run game. Bumgarner's still sticking around. He gets through six. And the Rangers have runners at the corners. There's a run in. And a home run from Abreu. Three for four day. And the Rangers now lead this thing nine to three. And a solo home run from Johnny Asperardi, continuing to play well for the Rangers. Bumgarner is going to try to give us eight strong, and now he'll be taken out. It's a 10-5 game. But the Rangers now behind the... Okay, I'll jump in for this. Vasquez in the game. Benintendi on at first. Foul off behind. The Rangers a 10-5 lead right now here, y'all. We have brought the offense... At the best possible time of their year. Again, we've had some times and some moments this season where we have struggled at the plate, but not happening right now in postseason baseball. We are really bringing it every single day. Every single day we're bringing it. And as a pitch right down the middle of the plate, we missed with a placement right there. Fortunate for us. And chases the slider low, fouls it off, one two count once more. We're going to get him chased a little bit further outside. And he hits it. He finally gets that one to go where he wants it. One out single. Runners now first and second. Kelly, man, he's not done too well this postseason. He's kind of been struggling at times. And we've got to see, got to see if he can settle down here with Mookie Betts at the plate. And it's in there. Strike one on the bottom of the zone. And we're going to let that roll out foul. Third base side. 0-2 count to Mookie Betts. And brush him off the plate right there. The four seam missing. Here we go the two seam on the inside part of the plate. And he hits it hard. Nobody going to tag up on this. As 
They're not going to test the arm there of Nomar Mazzara. Two away. They now bring up Dustin Pedroia. The last hope between them and a 0-1 deficit to the Rangers. Who have not had a blemish this postseason so far. And that struck well. But Joey Gallo making a shoestring grab. Provides the win right there and getting the out there's the dub the rangers win game one here the american league championship series at boston the score 10 to 5 is bumgarner goes seven and two-thirds giving up five runs but abreu three out of five with two runs on a three-run home run ensuring the offense for this rangers team as we take the first game here on the road and abreu again like i said player of the game honors goes to him and that's why we brought him in here we finally got him to wake up he started to play well here today uh, Bumgarner now improves to 2-0 this postseason. And Price is 0-1 with his first loss. So the Rangers win the first game. We're not done yet with this episode. We're going to go through. We got a new bat. How about that? Um, so now we're getting ready for game two here. Rangers on the road. And we're going to play the first bit again. And Garrett Cole will take the mound for Texas. All right. So here we go. Rangers up 1-0 in the series. It'll be Garrett Cole versus Eduardo Rodriguez. Rodriguez, through five innings, has a 1.8 ERA this postseason. And Garrett Cole struggling. He's uh, no decision in his last game. Six innings, six hits, has a 4.5 ERA. Again, that was his first start back since being uh, brought back from the DL when he was out for about two months. Uh, but we're going to see if he can settle back in a little bit here today. His second postseason start and the second start since being back from his injury. Looking to make it a 2-0 Rangers series lead here from Fenway Park against the Red Sox. We're going to see if we can get the job done. Chu, remember last game. He led the game off. First pitch he saw was a solo home run wrapped around the pole. Let's we'll see what we get this time on the first pitch. And first pitch he sees once again. He drives hard in the gap, but center fielder is there. And one pitch, one strike, one out for the Rangers. And now bring out now Elvis Andrews. Game one was three for five. Having a pretty good postseason so far for Texas. And that one we're not going to miss on. We're going to get that up the, up, up the middle base hit for Elvis Andrews as we are patient and waited on that to come through. And there we go. And there we go. Indeed. Now bring up Nomar Mazzara. Elvis on at first. And ooh, cutter, good cutter right there over the plate. 0 1 count fouled off there by Nomar Mazzara. It's a good pitch. And that one we got all of, but it's going to be hit straight to the center fielder. Second out now on another line out. Elvis will retreat back to first. We got a good swing on that. That's okay. Now bring up now Joey Gallo. He was 1 for 5 in game 1 of this American League Championship Series. Rangers not having any uh, offensive outbursts so far here this inning. Last game, last game, we last game we had five in the first inning. We were just crushing David Price. Today now we're seeing a little bit better pitching control. Uh, Joey does send that one high, but it is shallow. Center fielder been busy this inning. He retires all three Ranger outs. We're gonna go to the bottom of the first inning and look to shut down Boston. Led by Garrett Cole out there on the mound, and here comes Mookie Betts, the right fielder. For Boston, stepping to the plate. And four seam is there, strike one. Let's see another four seam. Garrett Cole looking to have a nice settle down game. And there's another four seam over the plate, strike two. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? And the slider, you couldn't get him to chase. That was a good pitch, well placed, but could not get him to chase it. One two count. And swing and a miss over the slider. Swing and a miss. You are gone. Garrett Cole retires him for out number one. And Dustin Pedroia will come to the plate now for Boston. Righty steps up. And strike one is in at 96. Over the knees. 0-1 count. And that one hit third base side. Wisdom there. And on a hop takes a little time. Across to Abreu. Two away. For the Ranger defense. And there you see Boston down 1-0. The Mets up 2-0 right now in the NLCS over San Diego. 
So we may be looking at a Rangers New York Mets series in the World Series if the Rangers continue to play well like we are right now. We'll see though. A long seven-game series. There's a lot of baseball to be played. And swing and a miss there of the slider. We're going to see if we can send him down packing. And wow. Good God, go foul. Oh, man. Almost cranked a home run there to break this game open on a one nothing lead. But instead it goes foul and the slider misses outside. We got very fortunate, very, very lucky with that pitch. That we did not have a home run ball. And swing and a miss over the knuckle curve. Two strikeouts in the inning for Garrett Cole. The Rangers get the job done there in that first inning and now bring up Abreu to the plate for Texas. First pitch here to Abreu. The last game was a absolute freak for us. And first pitch he sees he grounds out to the shortstop. One away here in the second inning. Ranger batters, we're not being very patient here today. We need to be a little bit more patient at the plate, take some more pitches. So because of that, I'm going to take first pitches from the rest of this inning out, even though some of them are hittable. Like that one right there, I would have loved him been able to drive with Odor. But so be it. And there's another one. That's a cutter that time, though. No score here as we play inning number two. And he and that misses the right there. So this is going to miss well inside here. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last and two. 2-2 count coming here to Odor. And he hits it hard and it's down the line. And that will not get down as they are drifting over on the shift. Two away now for the Ranger offense, and Patrick Wisdom will step up to the plate. And Wisdom will reach out for that one. That may be able to drop down, and it will. It's a two-out single there for Wisdom. And we'll see what we can get done now with some two-out magic. That will bring out Johnny Asperardi, two for five last game. Again, having a terrific postseason here for Texas so far. Finally bringing it. And first pitch he sees he dribbles off foul over there. The first base coach. First pitch, here we go. Oh, hit hard and on a line. Absolute rope. Right there to Mookie Betts. And the Rangers are down. And now we'll go to the pitching once more here. Garrett Cole had a great first inning to get going. See if he can continue that here now in a scoreless game in Fenway. Forcing foul off there. 0-2 count. I'm going to try to get you this knuckle curve. We got the last guy with that. Let's see if we can get you. Crap, that's going to play off the wall. Oh, no, and it clears the wall. That's a home run for Devers. I thought that was going to stay low on that wall and we'd be able to go play it off, but he hit the knuckle curve and takes it out of the ballpark, and the Rangers now trail this game 1-0 here in game two. And now they're going to start bashing, man. And Joey with a stupid dive right there for no reason, but back-to-back -back big hits for Boston. And the Rangers are in trouble here. And Andrew Benintendi comes to the plate. And we miss outside at 98. Ben Attendee, former Razorback, uh, has had a terrific career so far with Boston, and he will dribble that one off. Foul to the first base coach of Boston. And fouls off that one once more. One two counts of Ben Attendee. And he fouls off that to the backstop as well. So another one two count coming. We have a two seam inside here, or outside plate. And that's going to be a ground out for the first out of the inning. A thrown a little high there, but we did record the out. Runner advances over to third, and that'll bring up Steve Pierce, the first baseman for Boston. And he takes the first pitch he sees at 99 mile per hour from Garrett Cole. Strike one. I'll try to get you chasing that slider. 
Strike two. All right, all right. As Priority likes it. I'm liking it too, man. I'm gonna give you chase even further. He pops him up. Shallow infield, outfield right here. Everybody going. They're not gonna test the arm there, even though Elvis was going away. Now, now bring up Jackie Bradley Jr., the center fielder here for Boston. The runner at third, leading one nothing here against Texas in the second inning. In game two, against Cole in his career, struggled. Not having a lot going on for him. As he watches that slider, miss low. Frankie one, I didn't even see the pitch. Oh, fouled off in the backstop. It's one two count now. And we're going to go back to that slider. And it's in there in the corner. Strike three. Down he goes. But Boston strikes first here in the second inning with a solo home run from Devers. And the Ranger offense will have to get something going. So we're going to see what happens here. The Rangers two on, no one out. And the run comes in there from the single from Elvis Andrews. And the Rangers tie the game up. But now Garrett Cole in a bit of trouble. Gets out of the inning, allowing just one run across. Rangers still trail now. It's a 2-1 game. On Garrett Cole, another home run from Beavers. It's now a 4-1 lead. Abreu cutting that down to a 4-2 lead. And Klump coming in for Texas out of the bullpen. <laughs> Matt Bush and Deavers' third home run of the game. Oh, holy crap, he's having a game. Texas is down to the last three outs to get something going now against former Ranger Alex Claudio. Home run by Wisdom. Home run by Johnny Asperardi. And the Rangers aren't done just yet. They're battling here in this ninth inning, trailing now by just two with one away. And Odubel Herrera at the plate. And that one's hit hard. Center field rolling over, and he makes the play. Jackie Bradley Jr. had to go a long way for that one. Two away now. And Shin Su Chu will step up to the plate for Texas. Needing to extend this game a little bit further. In danger of dropping one and going to a 1-1 series. And he hits it high and deep. If it's fair, it's gone. And it is fair. Shades of the first game. He hits a solo home run. The Rangers now down by just a run. Three solo home runs in the inning. And we're not done yet, y'all. No doubt about that one. He knew it at the plate. And it was 6-3, now it's 6-5, or 6-2 it was, now it's 6-5. Here comes Matt Barnes to go up against Elvis Andrews of the Rangers with two out, now down by just a run. And he will get that to fall, and it's in there. It's another base hit. The Rangers are not done. There's a tying run on at first. The leading run will come up to the plate in the bat of Nomar Mazzara. He's got an opportunity to play hero for Texas here in this ninth inning. And, wow, couldn't wait a bit longer on that off-speed pitch. Nomar is one for three in his career against Barnes with a strikeout. And a changeup gets me down. 0-2 here. Oh, boy. Anything's possible here. We can see any type of pitch. Period. And yeah, the four seam misses. One more pitch, man. One two count here to Nomar. And I shouldn't have swung at that. That would have made the count full, but we we did foul it off. One two count. It wouldn't have made the count full. Never mind. It would have made it a two two count. And Nomar fouls off another pitch, staying alive at this at bat, making this game a little bit more interesting. Rangers do not quit. And that will miss. 2 2 count outside now to Nomar Mazzara. The big chill, looking for a clutch moment to get the Rangers back into this game and force the bottom of the ninth. And he will hit that to the second baseman. Force, and they do not get him. No, they got him at first. They, they went to the force at second. They threw him off the bag, but Nomar is slow enough that they're able to still get him out at first base. And the Rangers drop game two here at Fenway. 
It was a heck of an effort by the Ranger Bats to try to battle back there in the ninth inning. Uh, but, God, man, too many hits allowed there. 12 hits allowed by the Rangers. We were not able to get this job done. And Boston knots up the series at one apiece. And Devers, player of the game for sure. Three home runs and five RBIs makes the difference there for Boston. As that will tie up the series. The Rangers will get now to go home for three games after an off day. And we'll look to get back into the win column. Uh, here in Game Three, with the Rangers in a desperate spot to, to gotta get something to go, man. So here's the series. Here's the here's the situation. Rangers are one one in the ALCS. The NLCS is a two one series fans. lead for the here's Mets, but that is where we're gonna pick up in the next one episode one. for this Texas Three Rangers franchise NLCS. here in year two. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, hit that notification bell so you know when I go live, and feel free to subscribe. But thank you all as always for joining in for another Ranger Baseball episode. Thanks so much, and I'll see you back here in the next video. They'll take it easy.